Hello, today's video we have the following content. Zhang Ziyi denies using Shaolin and Yang Mei to create hype. In fact, everyone gets what they need and everyone benefits. The movie Jiang Yuan Lane directed by Peter Chan and starring Zhang Ziyi held a closing banquet. At the same time, the cast of the film was announced on the internet. Zhang Ziyi, Lei Jiayan, Yi Yang Kiangxi, Zhang Zifen, Fan Wei, Wang Chu Anjin, Yang Mei, and Shaolin. Before the filming of this movie started, there had been endless news about Yang Mei and Shaolin. Until the movie's official lineup was announced, everyone's focus was still on these two 85 flowers, who have always been competing and comparing. In this regard, some netizens posted that the box office of Zhang Ziyi's movies has been sluggish, and they hope that Zhang Yuanyuan will become more popular, so that they can achieve some results, but it is difficult to do it alone, so they asked Ching Kexin to find Zhao Lin and Yang Mei, so that Zhang Ziyi then you can reap the benefits of being a fisherman. Zhang Ziyi replied, No, shut up idiot. As expected, she is a big flower who has experienced a bloody storm. If anything happens, she will just leave it alone and bear it by herself. However, this reply seems to be overshadowing, because what this netizen said is actually quite reasonable. For Zhang Ziyi, Zhao Lin, and Yang Mei, this cooperation will be beneficial to them all. Zhang Ziyi's resume is definitely the envy of Chinese people all over the world. He was blessed by a great director when he debuted, and later he worked with Ang Lee, Wong Kar Wai and other top directors in the Chinese-speaking circle that everyone has no contact with. However, even under such circumstances, the box office of the movie starring Zhang Ziyi was only 1.5 billion, not even that of Yang Mei. Although the old saying goes, men watch box office, women watch awards. It's okay for Zhang Ziyi to have awards, but this result is too bad. Moreover, not only is she bad, she also has a nickname at box office poison. Exactly 12 years ago, in 2012, Zhang Ziyi collaborated with the popular Korean male gods Jang Dongjian and Cecilia Chu in a very large-scale dangerous liaisons. In the end, it only sold 62.71 million at the box office, spanning three places across the Taiwan Strait. Among the most famous figures in the Asian film industry, the average box office per capita is only 20 million, which is distressingly low. This movie has famous actors, but it is not considered a big production. There will be something even worse later, which is just like the story background of the movie, the typing will sank in the sea. Once again, a group of superstars and big names appeared, causing the director to disappear and the investors to go bankrupt. In recent years, everyone is more familiar with the climber. Zhang Ziyi invited Wu Jing, who has repeatedly hit box office records, and Hu Jia, who was very popular at the time, to participate in the movie. The theme is also in line with the popular theme in recent years, and she chose the best National Day schedule. However, the box office performance of The Climber is also disturbing. Wu Jing also comforted Zhang Ziyi, saying that there is no need to worry about things like box office. Ups and downs are normal, and everyone just needs to work hard to make a good movie. For Wu Jing, it makes no difference if the movie does not do well at the box office, but it is different for Zhang Ziyi. Her commercial appeal is indeed a bit too poor. Not only that, but along with this process, the TV series she filmed for the first time was also bloody. To be honest, from this aspect, we can actually see what it means for Zhang Ziyi to seek medical attention in a hurry. She originally thought that acting as a heroine in a drama would be a different start, but she didn't expect that without the blessing of a great director, Zhang Ziyi seemed to be being beaten back to the original shape by the demon mirror. I really don't know what he is doing, I can't tell, the acting is unwatchable and the plot is also not good. And as her marriage to Wang Feng comes to an end, I wonder if her career fortune will also turn around. Zia Ahu has no film resources and transitions into the mainstream circle. People who faced the same career obstacles as Zhang Ziyi include Zhao Lin and Yang Mi. Two post-85s girls who have been acting in idol dramas since they were young, seeing that they are still acting in idol dramas from the age of 20 to now 40 years old, it cannot be justified no matter how you say it. However, it is not that simple to prove yourself. There is no appreciation from a big director, and there are no suitable roles for them. Wanting to take the lead alone in a movie is a level that the two of them cannot challenge at this stage. In order to be able to cooperate with Ching Kex in, the two people are willing to only be a supporting actress, or even a guest star, just to please the relationship with the big director. Everyone can understand. Looking at Yang Mi and Xiao Lin, they seem to be very popular. 
they respond to hundreds of responses on the internet and their fans are extremely arrogant. However, they really have no resources and no background. The most striking contrast is to look at Zhang Ziyi's past history. They were all heroines and great directors, and there were no guest roles. However, Yang Mi and Xiao Liying have been models, and V heroines, shot small budget films, and made, you can tell who is taller and who is lower at a glance. The two of them fought all the way and became famous all over the country from the idol drama. The internet usually sees them making trouble. However, there is no lack of popularity, but there is a lack of works. It just so happens that Ching Kexan and Zhang Ziyi have no shortage of works, but they need traffic in the early stage. The two sides can be said to complement each other. If the box office does not rely on fans to drive the box office, there must be more tricks. Of course, as the traffic myth has been shattered time and time again, the film studio knows that it is impossible to fully guarantee the movie just by relying on two traffic spenders. Then, adopting some other means to discover more topics from the traffic is a more immediate way. At least, by making such a fuss, other netizens besides Xiao Liyin and Yang Mi fans saw the existence of this movie. With Zhang Ziyi at the helm, it can be said that this is a promising film, and if you want to recover costs and even make profits at the same time, you can't just hang yourself on a traffic tree and use the traffic for publicity, you might as well let the already notorious traffic take over. One more black pot. Their fighting and fighting will induce a huge group effect once the fans are attracted. To put it bluntly, it really offended the fans of Xiao Liyin and Yang Mi. They were unwilling to watch the movie. Apart from the fans of the two parties, what the film studio wanted was to attract a truly huge number of passers-by. In short, the operation of this movie from the beginning to the end can only be said to be about everyone getting what they need. No one is being used, no one is a vulnerable group, and there is no need to feel noble. Zhang Ziyi can use the traffic of Liang Hua to fight back, and Liang Hua borrows Zhang Ziyi's name entered the film industry. With the box office, everyone is happy.